All right, hopefully you guys can hear me. Because <clears throat> the match is starting. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the map working, which is a recurring issue at the start of a season. But what you're going to do? Uh, Hydra has Ipsmid, Perrin, Rekla, and Kid. I'm surprised to see them running Kid again, honestly. Uh, KCS has the lineup you would expect, which is their old primary lineup with the addition of Nagon, the Wu Jin, for some janky stuff. Right now, not really sure how this is going to shake out. I mean, I, I'm sure that KCS is going to win by just wrecking them, but I'm wondering how Nagon is going to factor into things. Um, that's the most interesting thing to come out of this match for me, I think. Um, Hydra does have lineups that can at least contest against KCS, but this is not the kind of lineup that can do it. Um, they would really kind of need, you know, their assassin and probably their invoker to be able to really contest things. Um, Nagon throwing out some Wujin stuff looks like a couple of blinds off of that, uh, but he does get choked by Perrin. Um, Okay. All right, the map is kind of sort of not really working. All right, I'm not sure what's going on with the map. Uh, but Grendel has taken a whole lot of damage. I can tell you that much. That is interesting. Uh, Nagon throwing out some more Gus. Uh, and Grindel is taking a lot of damage now. I'm not sure what's going on. But he is pulling out the shield, so he'll be a little safer from here on out. Merilith takes a uh, Goblin Spit. And Kid is just jumping on everybody he can. Um, Perrin. Oh no, that's uh, that high damage there is also coming from Nagon with some suffocates. I saw some yellow damage. I thought somebody was unsanked, but that is not the case. Uh, Nagon again with these blinds. Perrin takes a blind, which going to cut down his uh, choking ability. Nagon sucking out the air, which I believe means AoE damage. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure on the Wujins. Kid's getting wrecked now, though. Um, those power swings are going to do work on him. And Kid is forced to spell sank, which I'm not sure why. Um, Marilith does pick up the flag, though. 
Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know why you would have to spell sank there. That's weird. Perrin misses a choke on Merilith, and Tearcell gets a very fast rescue. Grindel tries to dirt kick, um, but misses. Not that it would have mattered, because it was the end of the tick, and uh, Perrin would have been unblinded before Grindel was even out of dirt kick lag. So. It's supposed to be better than that, Grendel. Watch your tick timer. Pay attention. Uh, Reckless is unmounted and taking some trips, but he's fast on the flying potion. Nagon continuing to throw out the suffocations. And it's it's hard to really keep track of how much damage that's doing. Because it doesn't it's doing AoE damage, I think, but it's staggered throughout the round. It's really hard to kind of keep track of that. Um, but everybody's taking damage here. But at this point, most of Hydra appears to be pretty, uh, pretty badly wounded. And I would say most of KCS is still doing okay. Um, Nagon's in the red. Grendel's only yellow. Uh, he does dip down into red as I say that. Um, but I think Tyrsel's still pretty healthy. Uh, Marilith is still pretty healthy. Got a repot here. Reckless trying to get his mount up. Card Sharks with the second capture. And unfortunately, this kind of just looks like a repeat of the uh, Champion Shield Cup that we had a couple days ago. Uh, KCS is just able to kind of push Hydra around, keep the pressure up, keep Hydra on the back foot. Uh, Tearsil picks up the flag. He's going to run this last one, it looks like. Nagon is disarmed, but Hydra's not really having much opportunity to capitalize on that. Perrin chokes out the flag carrier for KCS. That'll slow things down a little bit, buy them some time. Kid throwing out another spell sank. All right, Tearsil's up and back down just as fast. So Hydra really just kind of delaying things. But Reckla is able to pick up the flag and counter cap. So that's going to get them some more time, which is what they need, but isn't really enough. Kid is recu rescuing Reckla, and that's a bad position to be in. Ideally, your swashbuckler should not be having to rescue. Um, unless it's just to kind of move the flag. Uh, 
Uh, Ismet is trying to slow Terracell down just by sitting on him, but he's in red health himself. Terracell's in close to full, and he's just losing the straight-up fight. Um, so Terracell is able to push him off. And Reckley goes down, which means Terracell is now free to cap, sitting at the 20-yard marker. Perrin's trying to slow him down, but this is over. There's nothing Hydra can do. Kid goes down as well. Uh, Perrin's on Merilith. Terracell's at the 10 yard. And Perrin wimpies off. Terracell at the goal line. And that's game right there. A clean 3 0 for, for uh, card sharks. I will poke around, see if I can figure out why this map is not working. Um, it is keeping track of the flag bearer and the score, but oddly not movement. So I will get on that. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good night.